Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors. People absolutely loved this game last week, and today we're going to be doing the Elding Caves, whatever that means, and for some reason, oh, does that just mean a new item, or it's recommended that I play with Impa? I'm going to play with Impa, let's see what happens. I'm interested to hear what her voice acting sounds like, but yeah, people After love this game. battle, Link and his comrades slew King Dodongo. But the beast was only ever intended as a distraction. Yep. The army of monsters had taken Hyrule Castle. And Zelda. Worse, after the dust had settled, Princess Zelda was nowhere to be found. What a surprise! Impa and Link searched the battlefield for any sign of her, but to no avail. Although the battle had been lost, Impa foresaw Link's importance to the coming war. She bestowed upon him a green tunic, the sign of the legendary hero. Link did not believe himself worthy of the honor, but he was determined to help Impa and her remaining soldiers locate Zelda. Weeks passed. Impa heard a rumor that a handful of soldiers were holding out against the monsters in Farron Woods. Of course. The leader of this resistance was supposedly a young woman. Impa dared to hope that this unknown woman was Zelda. Ah, maybe. Link and Impa decided to make their way to the forest by way of the Elden Caves, a path with its own dangers. I see. So I've got to go through these in order to go and find that mysterious woman. Right, so this is the battlefield information then. So I'm assuming we start there in the bottom left corner. We've got some mobs there. We can run up to the right hand side and sort of push out from there, I guess. Uh, do I need to know any of this info? It's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Imper and Link escape. Link flees. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on a second. So if we win, we both get out. But if I die as Imper, then Link just waltzes off. <laughs> that seems incredibly unfair. Anyway, let's start the battle then. I'm not going to tweak any more settings. Let's just go into this thing and hope that by default... Oh, that looks nice. Diamonds for everyone! Hopefully this will be okay as default. I think we should be fine. I've now got to try and remember the controls from the last episode. Uh, unless, actually, it might be completely different for Impa. Let's find out what happens with her. Damn! Okay. Someone mentioned to me as well that in the last episode, when it says KO, that's actually how many that I've killed in the entirety of the level, supposedly. So, that'll be a good thing to keep a track of. The exit's over there, but we'll have to go all the way around to the north to get to it. Uh, okay, I guess so then. I'm going to take out this special guy first, though. The Hyrulean soldiers went up without us. Impa, we have to catch them. Oh, God. All right, hold on a second then. Let me kill this outpost captain. There you go. Damn! I'm liking that little water beast mode. There you go. Jesus! She does like a huge, like... You know, like in Final Fantasy, they have the, um... The little water ball thing. I can't remember what it's called now. I can't remember what the game is called. Anyway, Outpost continue to spawn soldiers for the side that controls them. Defeating the Outpost captain. Yeah, I already know that. Good stuff. I already knew that one. It's called Blitzball. That's what it's called. Just remembered. All right, Outpost captain is down. Do we control the Outpost? We do. Just seems like they are just not stopping, though. When are our guys going to actually push up? Right, I'm going to run over here and grab these bits. Somebody did mention to me that the materials, they uh, don't auto-collect like rupees do. So I have to keep an eye on those and make sure that I grab them. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to make my way over to the left-hand side, over to the west. And then we're going to push upwards and try and meet those guys at the part slightly north of here. Let's focus on the outpost captain to begin with. Nice. Good. And maybe a little bit of that. Splish, splash. And you're done for. All right, so then I'm going to spawn there. Grab some mats and a heart. Oh, my God, there's a lot of them. <laughs> God. I don't know why I'm ever intimidated, because I'm just going to literally annihilate a lot of them. One, two. Good. Nice. So I think that's actually part of a combo, because when I press Y by itself, or X, sorry, you don't actually do the water thing. I think it's after I do a couple of bits on Y and then press X, that's when I get the water ball, which is pretty handy. Right, here we go then. So we've got... Oh, wait, are these... Oh, dear. Yeah, they were plant bombs. <laughs> oh, no. Rendezvous with the Hylian captain. Uh, okay. All right. Sorry, guys. Got to run. Could we do something to open the way ahead? I mean, do I have bombs as Impera? I haven't tried that one yet. Hey, look. That wall's a bit crap. Maybe we can use something to destroy it. All right, good. So it is where Link is. God's sake. I'm coming. Use the bombs to break through the wall. Okay, so I do have bombs as Impera. That's fine. All right, up we go then. I don't know why Link's not doing it. I mean, he could do just the same as I can. 
All right, ZR, all the bombs. Good times, we've broken through. Right, let's destroy this room then. And then we can get ourselves another spawn point for the mobs. Oh, hello, you're a different mob. Here we go, water time. Good. I don't think it's quite time to press A yet. I'll wait for the uh, the room boss to turn up. That's got to be the monster's lair. Oh, God. All right, that's not, that doesn't sound good. What are with these uh, Ozzy Osbourne skeleton dudes? <laughs> what are they all about? They're very peculiar. Come on, we've just been here halfway through the stone square. A couple more to kill. Then the boss will turn up. I don't actually see any captains just yet for these spawn points. It's probably just for the room itself. All right, now where is he? Ah, there he is. Oh, no, that's not even that one. Okay, they're two separate guys. Come on then, buddy, old pal. And a little bit of water for you. There you are. Have a nice little bath. All right, I need to focus on this guy then. So you're sending out some nasty-looking balls at the moment. Oh, here we go. Nice. Did you see that? That's like a hydro cannon kind of thing. So it looks like we can go from here and to the left. And we can finally get to that point that we were looking at before on the map. Ah, here we go. There you go. Another hydro cannon thing. Nope. There we go. The big po. That's what it's called. Screw the police. Kill them all. Yes. Nice. All right. Let's keep on going. Where is this? Where is this captain they keep telling me about? Is he literally just on that marker? Oh yeah. Sorry. There he is. Hey. There we go. Mission successful. All right. Where are we pushing to next? Got some materials over here. Thank you very much. Reinforcements are here. Oh, thank goodness. Yep, not a problem, Captain. Where do you want us? Hylian Captain's morale has improved. Yeah, good times. The lava is stopping our progress. We need something. We need to do something about it. Well, that sounds like a job for you, Impa. You're the you're the water lady. I did see some big green arrows before in the distance, so I am just going to quickly consult those. To find out what they were. Uh, where was it? Yeah, up here. You see this? Did throwing bombs at that do anything? No? Okay. Right, well, let's take this outpost first then. And then we can actually claim this for ourselves. And I see enemies have spawned pretty much in every square block that we've just left. They're, uh, they're taking over pretty quickly. So is there a way for me to climb up there? Doesn't look like there is. No. Okay, never mind. Thank you. Now we don't have to let the bomb chew do the hard part. What the hell is a bomb chew? The hell? So many skelly bobs. Right, so we've got to get ourselves right the way down there. That's fine. All right, you can back it up. Oh, sorry. Escort the bomb chew to the stone spire. All right, that's our task. He keeps changing what our task is all the time. Oh, so I've actually got to leg it down there and go find it. Okay, I got that. Where is it? It's just down here and to the side slightly. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to jump off the ledge. Ah, so that's where the arrows are. The arrows are to actually jump off a ledge. That makes sense. And I've leveled up again. Booyah. All right, Bombchu. I'm with you, my friend. There is a big guy trying to attack that. Hold on a second. There you go. Water for you. Come on. All right. Protect it from the dark forces. I can do this. I mean, is it, is it going to move? I don't know. When, when's it going to actually try and move? It would help if it would, like, even slightly push through. Come on. Anything at all? You're going to make some steps? I'm accidentally hitting him in the process as well, I think. <laughs> I'm going to have to kill him in the bomb chew as well. Come on, bomb chew. Move your ear, man. Why are you not moving? Good lord. One, two. Water. Good. All right. Anything at all? Oh, no, there we go. It's on the move now. <laughs> Look at it. Just like wiggles and slides. It's brilliant. It's like some kind of cat toy. All right, let's take out the outpost captain then. We can hopefully... Thin the waves of mobs. There you go. Good stuff. All right. I'm going to escort the bomb to you. Now, I don't know where this stone spire is that we're supposedly taking it to. But we seem to be doing an okay job so far. All right. Lizard man. you got to go down, my friend. I'm sorry. There you go. Boom. Into the water you go. All right. Looks like the wall is too thick. The bomb chew can't move forward until that gate is open. So I basically got to acquire the west square in order to do this. Now, what happens if I... Oh, damn. Hold on a second. What if I do this? What if I throw bombs at the plant bombs? Uh, not really a great deal. Okay, what? Oh, ouch. One, two. And kick ass. Yes, there you go. Come on, just a little bit more. Some more Ozzy Osbourne Skellywobs. And is there anybody else? The bar is now empty. Right, keep boss. Come here, keep boss. 
I'm gonna one, two, and blitz ball. Boom! 65, good God. All right, come on, finish it off, there we go. All right, well the gate now open. Come on, open sesame, yes, got it. All right, come on through, Bomchi. Let's watch it as it moves its way through. Now the Bomchi can reach the stone spires, good. So what's the Bomchi gonna do? Is it gonna blow something up and create like a bridge or something so we can climb over the lava? I reckon that's what it might be. There we go, got some more mats. Let's keep on following this little dude. I keep wanting to use the right stick, but it never really seems to do much. Oh yeah, it is, look at that massive shard. Yay, there we go. The lava is covered up, and I'm assuming we're gonna push forward from here. Ah, oh, wait, is that our neutral point? That does look like a neutral point, doesn't it? What is that? I want it, make it mine. Make it so. Nope, nothing. Head for the exit. Like we've been trying to do all this time. All right, we're going, we're going, Captain. Come on, Link, we got this. But behind door number one is another Poe. Bring it on. I like that it gives you the cutscene as Link, even though you're playing as Impa. Oh, no, there she is. But the focus does seem very much on him. Which I guess makes sense. He's the poster boy. <gasps> oh, it's her. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to ruin the surprise if you've never played the old Zelda games. Because that would be unfair. The princess isn't dead. You'll reunite with her at some point during your journey, but not quite yet. You can call me Sheik. It's a name that comes from the Sheikah tribe. Uh, they were servants of the Hyrulean royal family. The Sheikah tribe? Uh, that's impossible. We can talk more once you get out of this cave. For now, let me join you. Oh, yes. Do I get to play as Sheikah now? Or Sheik even? I probably don't get to play as her right now. No, I don't. Okay. I probably unlocked her now, though, as a playable character, which is good. Smash the pots. Collect the hearts. And push on through. God, I just love like the walls just clash between them. I love that the guys aren't actually attacking the skeletons. They're just sort of like a, a wall against them. <laughs> just a, a big old man wall. God, I love that water attack. I think, I've got to say, I think Impa's probably my favorite character. What was that frame rate drop all about? How strange. Also, by the way, in the last episode, a lot of people said that they could hear the skull chiller noise. Um, I couldn't hear that because I have the headphones relatively quiet, so I can actually hear myself think and hear myself speak when I'm commentating. Um, so that was the reason that I missed that. But next time that I have one, I'll sort of go radio silent for a second whilst I'm trying to suss out where exactly uh, the sculpture there is. And we haven't actually had one this uh, this level yet, which I th find quite odd. Come on, down you go, heavy. One, two, water. Nobody there for the water, but I can collect in a mat. Good times. All right, so I'm assuming the exit is right there, maybe. Well, there's an arrow there. Let's have a look. Oh, no, I see that's one of the drop downs. Oh, I see. So, yeah, the green arrows are where you can drop down. Sweet. Do I have to help them kill all these so they can move onwards? All right, guess so. There you go. Everybody into the water. Blast. And let's move onwards. Let's go. I don't know why I'm leading the march. It's just one person. Got this giant butter knife. It's like a banana sword, isn't it? Look at it. <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh, no, I'm going backwards. That's why. God damn it. No wonder nobody's pushing through this way. We've still got a few more keeps to collect. We've killed 793 mobs so far. That's pretty badass. All right, so it's this way that we're going. Uh, are we pushing through that way? Good. Bring him in. Fantastic. Did we actually... Oh, no, we didn't get the heavy. All right. And everybody into the water. Wonderful. I know that these games can get quite boring if you use the same abilities, so I will try different combos. What if I were to try two heavies and then a normal? Oh, he doesn't really do a great deal. Hey, back it up. I need to try and get him when he's doing his special attack. He must be weak to water, right? Uh, kind of. Oh, there's a bomb shoe there. All right. The south gate of this leads to the exit. If we capture the gate, uh, if we capture the key, the gate might open. I've got that. Why is his head frozen? <laughs> oh, we need to attack him now whilst he's... Oh, no. Do I have a defend button? I'm trying to remember if I do. Oh, what is that? Is that defend? I think that might be defend. Oh, yeah, it is. It's like a shield. Okay. So next time that the lizards do that breathing fire thing, if I block, I have a massive window then to actually slice them up when they're, when I can see their weak spot. Hey, who else is using water in here? That's my job. 
This is more like a Sharknado, though. <laughs> I saw a pop figure the other day, actually, by the way, for Sharknado. Most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. There we go. Look at that. <gasps> chest. Okay, hold on a second. I'm all about the loot. All about it. Where's the chest gone? I can't find it in the middle of this man pile. Good God. Hold on, let me grab it. Okay, let me get my little chest out. No, 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 And inside we have... What the hell is that? You got a sealed weapon. It might be a completely new weapon, but you'll have to check later. Okay. Sounds good to me. And back we go to the action.